Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrystreetcottage.net here today with another tutorial with the Bright Pad. So we talked about the Bright Pad last week. That's from Cricut. And we talked about using it to weed iron-on and vinyl. But in that video, I promised you a second video. So here it is. And the second video is sponsored by Cricut. However, all projects and opinions are my own. So today we're going to use the Cricut Bright Pad to practice our hand lettering. So if you've been involved at all in the hand lettering craze, like it's crazy, right? Everyone is into hand lettering and making their own words and letters. So all you would have to do with your Bright Pad is print out some practice sheets that I'll have linked in the below or anything off the internet that you can find that's hand lettered. And then you can practice over the top of it just by laying it on your Bright Pad, turning the Bright Pad on, layering a piece of paper on top of that, and then you can see the words right through it and you can trace and practice your hand lettering right on the bright pad and practice that muscle memory. So then hopefully you get good enough to practice it on your own. So let's make some hand lettering of our own using the Cricut Bright Pad so you can see how easy it really is. So I just printed off some brush lettering practice sheets just by Googling it. I'll have the link for this in the description for this video if you wanna print these exact ones or in the blog post associated with it. And then I have just some plain copy paper. I have my Cricut Bright Pad. And then I have a couple of brush pens. So these are some of my favorite brush pens. Um, what you want is a pen that has a brush tip for your lettering needs. All right, so we are gonna put, first of all, let's just practice some brush lettering. So we put our page on top of the Bright Pad. Then we put a piece of paper on top of that. And then we can see the letters through through the paper with the with the use of the light and it makes practicing your brush lettering super simple Now, this one also has some practice words. So I can put those on the bright pad and then we can just trace those. So this is a bit like tracing, but it also helps with the muscle memory that you're gonna need if you wanna get into hand lettering. And hand lettering is really all about practice, which I quite frankly need more of and I love to use my bright pad to do that. You don't expect to be perfect the first time, but it's pretty good for just practicing with my bright pad. So this is a great way to get started with hand lettering and then you can use the same technique to create some art maybe that you might scan into your Cricut machine and use like on a card or something. So I could trace this one. And then I have something that I've made that I can cut on the Cricut. So there we have it. So there's some words that I actually wrote that I could scan in now and cut on my Cricut or do a print thin cut and cut it multiple times. And then you could use actually these letter sheets to create your own words. So there's actually a, there we go. So there's actually capital and lowercase. So you could create your own words and your own hand lettered art easily with the Cricut Bright Pad. So it's super simple, right? So you might pick up a Cricut Bright Pad because you want to weed that glitter iron-on or glitter vinyl or any of the vinyls or iron-ons e more easily, but now you can use it for another purpose. So it also makes a great tracing pad, like if you want to trace something or if the kids want to trace something, it, it does great for that. But 
don't let the kids take it over because everyone wants to jump on that hand lettering bandwagon and you can too easily with a Cricut Bright Pad. So get your practice on, start that hand lettering, start creating your own art. Then you can upload that art into Cricut Design Space after you scan it in. And then you could cut it with your Cricut machine or do a print then cut and use it over and over again once you get really great at hand lettering. So I can't wait to see what you create once you get great with hand lettering. So y'all give us a thumbs up on YouTube if you love this. Subscribe if you want to see more crafty videos including Cricut stuff. And I hope to see you here next week because we're here every Wednesday with a fun crafty video. Thanks y'all so much. Bye.